Good morning, my loves. Morning, morning. I hope you're all good. It's a beautiful Sunday morning. And I am so excited. I love Sundays. I love Sundays because I get to go to church and just enjoy in the presence of the Lord. I know that I can never be in the presence of the Lord and my life remain the same. So thank you guys for tuning in once again. If you're a retaining subscriber, thank you, my love. Thank you, my love. And if you're new here, please press that subscribe button and join this growing family. So um, it's a Sunday morning, guys. You can see I just woke up. I'm wearing a gown and it's cold. Yes, it's very cold. So I just, you know, when I woke up, I just felt like I need to quickly do this video. I need to quickly share this testimony with you guys because it's very important. As you have seen by the title of the video, I want to talk about how God delivered me from spiritual husbands and spiritual kids. Um, as, um, as I've said it before that I got born again in 2009, I was still in high school then. So um, that's as far as I can remember when this thing started. So I think this thing started when I was still in high school. And what happened was, um, that time, I didn't know that it was spiritual husbands. I didn't know what was happening. I just thought maybe I have some problems in my, in my, in my, what's this, in my home or something because I always had abdominal pains. So, um, throughout my years, like, I will, I will dream of someone having sex with me. I will dream of someone getting intimate with me. It was so bad that um like my discharge was no longer the same my discharge like i would get so much discharge like it, it it was so much and i had to wear a panty liner all the time not because um i'm kick, I, i'm just being clean or i'm just like i did not have a choice because it because it was so bad and when i'm sleeping i will sleep of i will dream of someone having sex with me sometimes it might come as a familiar face like someone I know, sometimes it might come as uh, just someone I don't know. And this thing would sleep with me, like it will sleep with me. And then it was so bad to a point that um, when I wake up, I will feel that I was having sex. Like I will feel like even in my, in my body, I will feel so empty. Like I will feel like someone was having sex with me. And sometimes I would have so much discharge. I will be so wet like yo guys <laughs> it was so bad and so painful like my life was a living mess and you know every time i think of going to sleep i will be so stressed because i know this thing is going to sleep with me and i will always have those discharge and sometimes it was so com uncomfortable because it it got so sometimes is what it was not smelling nice and the odor was just a lot and trust me when i say i was always in and out of gynas i was always in and out of doctors because i thought maybe i have an sti maybe i have infections and they will give me medication to treat it but it will still come back the moment that thing comes and sleeps with me it's back to square one and it was so painful because i always had pain blocks i always had like i always had panty liners like i was just it was a lot like i always had to drink medication to stop those pains because i knew and i was always bloated i was going through so much and because i was a christian i am a christian at some point i felt like i was praying about it i was praying about it so so much but i was not telling anyone about it because i felt like it's embarrassing and what happened was uh, there's this other night i don't forget it i like <laughs> i can't forget it there's this other night i was sleeping and i felt like yo like i felt that thing come and there was a, a some sort of a, a wedding ceremony and i was the one getting married but i i i saw the ring it was in three layers three pieces i don't know how they call it it was in three pieces and I was getting married, but I could not see the person I'm getting married to. I could not see 
the people that were there and when i woke up like i felt like i felt so much heaviness i knew something was not right i knew it was me getting married in the spiritual realm so i prayed about it like trust me i fasted i prayed i i did everything that i can but this thing was just not going away and it reached a point where i am sleeping i will feel like a child is sucking my boobs a child is sucking my boobs and when i wake up like my i will i will literally feel fire on my on my nipples like i will feel fire like my, they will burn they will burn and yo <laughs> guys this thing as i'm saying it like i i remember what was happening with me and it's so painful and like when i think about it it's so so painful that was my life and it happened for so many years like it was so frustrating it affected me in so many ways i did not have peace whatsoever i did not have peace at all and my life was not going anywhere trust me i graduated eight years ago and the course that i studied like people are getting jobs like you know people are not suffering like even when they call people they would not call me if they call me things will just go south so it was ruining so many things in my life my life has, was so stagnant like nothing was happening there was no progress there was nothing and i had no peace i like my life was a mess and i at some point i i I was always rejected by people especially when it comes to relationships none of my relationships they working out i will meet a guy i will like him he will like me and then like there was a pattern man if like they will just disappear they will just ghost me and it happened so much that i even started getting used to it like when i get into a relationship i know he will leave and I am still struggling with that even now because I still have fear of attachment. I still have fear of like loving a person fully. And because I feel like ah, what's wanna, the moment I start feeling like this thing is going somewhere, it will just, you know, disappear out of nowhere. And the guy will just disappear. No arguments, nothing. Like he will just, and at some point I will look at them and I will just say, what well, I know. This guy also doesn't know what happened, but he just left. So that was my life. And with jobs, I was not getting jobs. I, like if I get a job, it will just be contacts, you know, contacts. And like I couldn't do anything. Like I couldn't do anything. My life was just as it is. And nothing was working out in my life because of those things so um it was so painful guys it was so painful i was always frustrated i was always sad i was always you know when there's no progress in your life and everybody around you things are working well things are going good but with your life nothing is happening not that you're comparing yourself but i mean when everybody everyone's things are, are, are working out and yours are not working out i mean you will also be frustrated you will also um be stressed and all that so that was my life like i struggled so much with spiritual husband and there was a point because now i i was no longer enjoying life like i felt like maybe someday i can just you know just die like just maybe i'll rest you know i was not suicidal though but i i thought about those things because my life was just you know i'm just living life because but i don't enjoy anything like i am there's no progress now uh sorry now uh time is moving everybody's progressing like but my life nothing is happening like i'm just stagnant and nothing is nothing is even look like it will happen so um because i was so frustrated and i've been a christian and i have been praying about this thing and i have been fasting i have been like i've been doing almost everything that i can to get rid of this thing what i did was i am not going to filter this one guys that this is my honest truth so what i did was i went to a sangoma i went to a sangoma to seek help 
they did some things like yo <laughs> it's funny because i went there because, while i am a christian but i was not I, I i don't know but i was so frustrated i was tired and i'm sure if you have struggled with something that has troubled you so much has frustrated you so much and you've been praying you will understand my frustration at that at that point so i went to a sangoma and they did what they did and those things uh, seemed like they had disappeared for a little while only to come back even worse <laughs> only to come back even worse like now things were even worse ah <sighs> guys it's making me it's making me so emotional because i can literally see what happened so um it came back even worse and as a, like <laughs> i never left church now but i was seeking help somewhere else and because now i went to a sangoma and i was not getting help i went to an apostolic prophet you know them i went there to seek help you know i was at a point where someone tells me and i will run like i will run like i was just you know because i i needed to live i needed to survive i went to that apostolic prophet and they gave me things to drink, the tea, they gave me things to bath me. You know, I did everything according to the book of how they told me to do them. I did them and for some few, is it months? I think few months, it felt like, no, everything is going well. I am delivered. Now I am free. Now I am safe and all that. So it came back. It came back was 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 it came back west and it was so west like I would sleep when I wake up I would feel like oh yay it was so bad guys it was so bad so bad I struggled with spiritual husband and and spiritual kids it was so bad. bad 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 like heartbreaking even because i had to come to a point where i go out and seek help but i could not find help and every time i think of my situation i'm thinking of the woman with the issue of blood that she went all out like she did whatever she can until she had no money left and jesus was her only hope and when she touched the hem of jesus garment and she received healing so i went back to god and say father god i can't do this mm -mm. and i went to my pastor i went to my pastor and i told him everything I told my pastor everything and he took me through a process of deliverance. He prayed for me. You know, he prayed like he prayed for me. Like guys, he prayed for me. And trust me when I say after that prayer, I have never had an encounter with any spiritual husband. I have never ever had an encounter with any spiritual kid. Like I sleep. I enjoy my sleep. The Bible says God gives his beloved sleep and I am so grateful and blessed to be experiencing that blessing of being given sleep by God. I am delivered guys as I'm I am posting I as I'm recording this video and I want to proclaim that I am free and the Bible says whoever the son maketh free is free indeed. Like I could not keep quiet about this because Many people are going through this and they are not even sure what is happening with them. So for me, I think I am one of the lucky ones who was able to identify what is really happening. And I, I am saying glory to God. I will forever sing hallelujah to God. You know, you might think I am crazy when I, 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 I serve this God. You might think I am like... There's a song that says, Immunijesu, 
dear Mutsiva Jesse, ye know dira jedi would say fella. I wish I was able to sing, I was gonna say gimoni cheso hai kea mutsiva cheso yena udira jedi would say fella. Hallelujah. I am free, I am saved, I am delivered, I have been set free. Jesus died on the cross for me and I am enjoying the benefits. Like guys, I am free, I am delivered. I just wanted to come here so quick and share this testimony with you guys that God delivers. And he delivers. And when God delivers you, you are free indeed. I like things are waking out in my life. Everything is coming together. All things are working to, together. Are waking for good to them that loves the Lord. I am enjoying the benefits of being the child of God. And it started with being delivered. Alone, I was I was fighting it alone until I, I, I went to an elder of the church. I mean, my pastor. <laughs> yes, he's an elder of the church. Anyway. <laughs> I went to my pastor and I told him, like, you know, sometimes we struggle with things and we don't get delivered because we are not talking about them. We are not seeking help. Sometimes you should just tell someone and they let them pray for you. Because with us, we pray from a place of um, confusion. We pray from a place of frustration. We pray from a place of hurt and pain. But when you tell someone, they are able to pray and hear God and be specific and not attach emotions so uh, that's what i did and i am here singing um the goodness of the lord i have seen god and i i have feel i have witnessed god in a way that i never thought and others see him uh, others witness god uh, in material things but i saw god in a situation that nobody knew i was struggling with and that thing affected my self-esteem my confidence i felt like i'm not worthy you know when you're a lady and you're dating you know guys just disappear like hello what why and you end up thinking there's something wrong with you you end up doubting yourself you end up feeling like you're not worthy and I am working on that. I God is taking me through the journey of restoration. And I am still on a journey. And I just wanted to come here and tell you that God is able. I have seen him in my life. Nobody's going to come here and tell me that God does not deliver. God does not save. Ah, I have seen him. And for as long as I live, I will sing of the goodness of the Lord. I will stand and say, God saves. Because I've seen him in my life. I have experienced his, his mercy. I have experienced his grace. And I have seen God. I have, yo, guys, like, I just wanted to come here and share this testimony with you. And tell you that God is able. He's able and he's able. Whew. Yeah, I'm just going to end this video here. and. May God see you through. May God deliver you from whatever that you're going through that you can't even talk about. May God deliver you. I pray for you guys as I pray for myself. I love you. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.